boom of lights here, which I've drawn with um, hybrid 2D, 3D symbols. Um, at the moment, we're looking at a top plan view, and I want to use the create plot and model view command to um, enable this to be seen in 3D um, as a stood up boom. So the first thing I need to do is to make absolutely certain that all the objects that I want to use are created in the same layer and that the same layer that they're created in is my active layer. So these lights are all on um, lighting positions and the active layer currently is um, lighting positions. So I'm just going to just hide away some of the other layers I don't need for now. Um, and just with this layer active, um, I'm going to select the objects that I want to stand up. And using the spotlight menu, go to visualization and create plot and model view. I get this dialog box which says uh, create plot and model view and you're going to name a new um, layer and we're going to call it the definition layer and keep that and just put a dash and I put, um, I don't know, stage left side light and uh, the new model layer, allow that to be created and Let's call that new model layer um, create plot model view for this um, exercise and press OK. And what's happened now is that Vectorworks has created two brand new viewports and you can see those there. Viewport 1 and viewport 2. Viewport 1, if I was to select that, is residing on the lighting positions layer. That's where um, you were when you created, when you ran the command. Viewport two is on the create plot and model view layer. And that's where, that's the layer that we um, created when just um, as we were running this command. Now the viewport one is there as a spare, I suppose. And most people don't really use it that much. It's there if you want to use it, but you should know that very easily you should you can delete that. So you just delete that. Viewport 2 is the one that we are going to stand up. So let's um, take a look at what we've got. We've got here um, a create plot and model view layer. If we just look at that um, on its own. Okay. And that is... Um, a viewport okay and then we have got another layer that is the a de called a definition layer and this is where your lights reside now so all those lights that's um, on the boom and um, plus the boom itself are now residing on your definition layer this is where we define um, our boom our stood up boom okay so let's just go to our um, our definition, our, our create plot model view layer. This is where our brand new viewport is. And if we um, go to a front view now of this, you will see all our spotlights suspended from their laying down boom. Um, and all we need to do, if I just go into wireframe now, is to use select that viewport. So we're not selecting a boom, we're not selecting any lights, we're selecting a viewport. So we select that viewport um, and we press the rotate tool and we just click on the bottom base of the, the, um, the boom and we click and we can just turn that um, up on its base. So now the boom is standing up, and if I was to look around uh, the space, I can see that we've got um, a boom of lights, um, but the lights are at a rather odd angle. So what we need to do is we need to correct that. So if we go back now to our definition there, and if I was to look at a top view now, um, you can see all these lights um, 
hanging down as you saw earlier. Now what we need to do is to hang them forward. So if I was to select all those lights, and if I was to go set 3D orientation, um, if I disable the enable Z rotation, and then if I was to just type 90 in the X rotation, you will see them all rotate 90 degrees around the fixtures X axis. Now, if I was to enable Z rotation, they will all now rotate, the 3D portion of the symbol will rotate um, zero degrees. Um, if I was to then fill that in and type 90, they will all now rotate around. So the hook clamps have all now rotated around exactly in line with the boom. So regardless of the, um, the angle that the 2D portion is set at, the 3D portion is set to point in the right direction um, as far as the boom is concerned. So going back to the top view, um, you can see our, our lights are still at um, the diagonal, which I like personally, because then I can fill in label legends and everything can be seen easily. Um, but if I was to go now to my create plot model view, um, view of all of this, you can see that the lights are now all standing up um, neatly but they're all pointing in the wrong direction. Now, there's something about Vectorworks viewports I don't really understand, but for some reason, all lights tend to point to the right. Um, that's um, annoying, but is easily fixed if I was to go to um, top view again. And if I was to select all of these lights, and if I was to just give them a focus point, um, and I'm going to pick A for now, um, now, if I go back to um, the, um, the viewport, you can see that in fact now all the lights are pointing in the right direction. So now what you have essentially is a light, lights on, on pipes. You can fill in the label legends as normal. So for instance, if I wanted to um, give these some color um, in all of the usual way, leave one, three, two. Um, there you are, you can see color there, um, et cetera, et cetera. But um, at the same time, if you wanted to then look at the viewport of the lights, um, the lights now are still standing exactly um, where you want them. Of course, um, if you wanted to go back and look at your lights and if you wanted to say let's just move him um, down down maybe to the bottom there make that a shin buster because that's what you need then by all means do that and if we go back to the um, the layer you can see um, that light has now moved um, this is the way um, to show 3d um, lighting positions um, standing up or at any angle you choose, um, and whilst retaining um, the uh, the same, um, whilst retaining um, the the two D integrity of your drawing um, intact, like that. Of course, if you were to decide that you like your boom and you want to repeat it three more times. Um, across um, going up let's say upstage you just select your um, your boom okay and um, and using the um, move by points um, tool you could select that say and let's put, duplicate it three more times and those lights have now all moved of course if we were to um, put our um, booms back on now again now of course um, if you were to look at this um, one more time there you are they're all sitting there and of course um, the definition um, can definition there can of course be hidden away um, without any problems um, and that is the principle behind create plot 
model view. Um, very quickly, it should be worth saying that if this is a viewport, so if I was to look at the layers here, the only layer that this is showing up is the definition layer, stage left side, stage left side light, which is where um, you have defined your um, lights. Anyway, I hope that makes things clear. Um, thank you.